Now, with Waz, you know, the way that he set this up, if he can get his hands on this lower armor, which he cannot, I mean, this is a risky thing to, to try to hold off this mega. Well, it looks like, oh, G1 does that. Let's see if he's gonna make his move. There he is. About five seconds to mega. And both, now we've really seen the pace of this game change. I love it, I love the dynamics of this. Oh, he misses out on Mega. This might give Waz his in. This is his in right here. Spots the door open, spots where his opponent's going. He's got the armor. He's got plenty of time, he doesn't need to rush. He still has the better stack. He hops over rockets and he can back into armor here. So he's still really stacked. There's one, now he can move in for the kill. He needs to hit one more. There it is. Nine to eight, and Waz has just pounced like a kitty. Now you can only eat one rail oh, level. And Ooh. that rail is gonna be really vital for a player right now. But Waz is, as always, looking for the angle shots, looking for the unreturned damage. And even though another rail is gonna wreck his world, he's staying in this. Yep, he's got plenty of time for this frag. He actually, he's probably pissed that he dropped right there. He lost his position advantage. And he misses that rail. Ooh, that is going to make things really, really difficult. Because now he doesn't have any advantages. He doesn't have easy access to health. But that's okay for him because he can make these long range shots without giving anything away. But right now, player, he's stacked up to the point where it's going to take more than that one lucky shot to take him down. So player's being very cautious right now, but all shit could go loose. And player, actually, if you followed him through the teleporter, that could have been really, really bad for him. But 15 seconds left, one frag, and that rocket right there is going to be shutting Waz down on position. And now he's just waiting for the teleporter. Seven, six, five, four, three. Two, and there it is. The one second. There's that wow. one shot off. One but we're going to be seeing map three once again. A three mapper. Oh, I'm loving this. Three impresses for G1, four for Waz, and uh, honestly, you know, the railgun, definitely the uh, strongest weapon for both players. And uh, we will indeed go to the tiebreaker, which was DM13. Sure. 18% 18, 18 real, I fucking suck. <laughs> DM3? Really? What, really? Really? Vote now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you forgot the one in there. <laughs> Vote Finally about to make its Quake Live TV debut, DM3. Oh yes, it was, the, it was like one I red armor. When, when Quake on Three first came out, and I was going through the single player as a kid, and uh, DM Three came up, and I was like, "Fuck this shit." <laughs> oh, okay. I hate that map. It's definitely better in Quake Live with some of the uh, the item changes, but holy crap, I hate that map. Okay, but here we go, wasting no time on DM Thirteen Map Three, the tiebreaker between Waz and G One player. Now Waz getting a yellow armor start, able to make it to center first, kind of a critical thing to happen, and he's able to dodge the nades to get Mega. Nice rocket jump up. You know that G1 is short on weapons, and oh, he's gonna be late to LG. Oh man, Waz is already laying the trap. Nice, nice play by Waz, timing it. And uh, he chooses another another exit, so lucky him. All right, so a little bit of a, uh, could be really bad situation turned into not so bad situation. Waz again, able to dodge without taking any damage. They both rocket jump. Who's going to bring out the lightning gun first? It's going to be Waz. And he's got G1 totally stuffed in the corner. Rocket jump and finish off the frag. There you go. Fantastic work Oof. there. <laughs> That's yeah, the gauntlet. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bummel. The first bummel of the tournament. I love it. G1 setting up a trap though, that's a double tap on the exit. Question is, oh Waz, okay that's where Waz is. I was about to say, where is Waz? Apparently Waz is waiting behind the corner to shoot G1 in the ass. Yay, okay. So let's go over to Waz and watch him because he has the chance to take uh, 
this setup into an advantage. He's checking, checking, checking. My mega, my mega, my mega. Yes. I'm actually kind of surprised wow. that G1 didn't press in there. Blast just destroyed G1 with his LG. Oh my god, all the armor's gone. And Waz is still pushing in here, but now he's got G1 on this side of the map, and he's not going to be letting him out. He's covering both exits here, but G1 comes flying out like a bat out of hell, and actually that yes. bounce really helped him. Oh, that bounce would have helped him out if he didn't crater or didn't fall into the lava. Those darn craters. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a very aggressive move, but I'm wondering if it really needed to happen right at that moment. I think that, um, you know, yeah, you're only down by two frags at that point. You might as well back off. Um, you know, yeah, you're going to give your opponent red armor for free, maybe, but I mean, you, ha you have other opportunities, you have other, you know, I mean, basically work with the yellows, do something, r rather than give a, now a four frag lead and only two and a half minutes in, so I don't know, a little bit iffy there. And after a, uh, oh, nice. and, oh my god, Waz. <laughs> I don't know whether what to love you or hate you right now. Oh man, that was, that was that was a charge bounce, bouncy charge. But four on negative one, you know, a lava death like that that can take a lot of wind out of your cells. Waz, I think uh, actually I'm wondering if player has any wind left in his sails at all right now because Waz is just able to kind of run this around and do the. Well, I, you can see exactly what's going on. Player just isn't really bringing a lot of fight to this right now, and Waz is going to be able to pick up Mega in, well, eight seconds unless Player starts to make an attack for it. Me Mega and Red Armor coming up just a couple now, seconds so, apart see, from each other. So. Why, why are you going... I mean, that's amazing oh that, that he got that, though. And Waz is laughing because... I mean, Yellow Armor has been up. You know, obviously Waz Forever. just got that off of the spawn, but Yellow Armor has been up for like 20, 30 seconds. And uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, G1, you know, he had to make a nice bold move, but I, I don't know. I, I guess given the fact that Waz has been able to match him pretty well on aim, oh, that's pretty weird. Uh, Waz has been able to match him pretty well on aim. You'd think that he'd be a little bit more cautious about the, uh, you know, about the stack before he made a move. That being said, Waz is being really careless now. Oh, nice LG. That'll do it. Yeah, that, that helped his LG bring it back up to a 23. So, yeah, accuracy is really not the strong suit of, of either guy right now. Um, yeah, 29 and 23 for LG. Used to seeing a good you know, 30, 40% usually for the kind of pro level. Hmm. And interestingly enough, I... Uh, both of these players are definitely doing oh, the that's uh, a mistake. Waz just got free mega. Thanks, pal. <laughs> nice read though. This Defensive rocket really stop awkwardly. Waz. It really is. It really is. This is not uh, typical DM13 fair. But it's now you know the fact that it's a tie game. I guess we need to you know give hats off to G1 uh, for getting the frags. But I think that Waz also gave away about three. Uh, to be quite honest, um, I like. I don't really agree with whatever aggression Waz was turning on when he had nothing. Maybe he thought that G1 was a little bit weaker than he was, but uh, was not the case. So now we're you know we're at the halfway point. Nice tie game. A lot of damage output by oh, G1. Nice he damage. destroyed Waz there, but the rockets are going to be oh. enough. Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Rockets to LG. Waz picks it up. Now five to four. G1 on the recovery. Waz. Going to try to keep him on that side of the map. Out comes the LG. Nice wait for the uh, exact timing to start firing that LG. And uh, honestly, though, I like the fact well, that it's going to be forth. right here. And we're going to be seeing I mean, Mega Health is coming up in, in a few seconds, and player really should be on the mark for it. And yeah, Waz is not going to be anywhere near that. So player now has a stack. Now he has some ability to kind of go on the prowl. But the thing is, is that one of the things I've been noticing about player the entire time is that, and it goes for Waz too, neither player has really gotten keyed into where his opponent is. I mean, a lot of these yeah. frags have just been like random ass kind of, you know, bass backwards kind of deals. I see you. Um, so neither player Part is really kind Yeah, exactly. Um, so the prediction level just isn't here. The sound cues, um, 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>